If you are new to our channel, we are Anna and Kelvin and we are doing a one year round the world trip. The first part of this trip has finished in Latin America. We're now in Africa and we will be travelling through four different countries in the Southern Africa region, doing safaris, seeing many great sights and finishing in Victoria Falls. From there we will be travelling through the Middle East and then we fly to Thailand where we will be spending the last few months of our travels seeing many different countries in Asia. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out our previous videos from Central and South America. So we are here approaching, if you can just see in the distance, the Cape. The Cape of Good Hope, the most southern point in Africa. Okay, our guide has just informed us that this structure here was done by Diaz, the first Portuguese uh, explorer to get here. And if we look just across off the one on the other side, I'll try to zoom in. Yeah, that one was done by Vasco da Gama just a few years yeah. later. Okay, we're here now at the Cape of Good Hope, the beautiful little landscape which is generally regarded as the most southern point in Africa and I'll just slowly show you the kind of panoramic I don't know if you can see them but they're little rocks at peak up which cause wave formations so up at the top here the lighthouse was built but apparently historically it was never so effective because it gets so misty here at night it can't be seen therefore many many shipwrecks occurred on the little peaky rock formations that are causing <laughs> we're halfway up not quite up there but you see a slightly different view from this angle you see the quiet deserted remote beach you can get a better idea of the shoreline so now we're finally at the what lighthouse Ooh, and i'll show you the kind of views you have when you're up here Point. And it's just so beautiful, this little route here. You're walking amongst beautiful trees and flowers, and then you have the ocean and the mountain as your backdrop. Yeah, definitely could have been a worse walk, if we say so. And you look at all these beautiful purple flowers. Wow. Hi everyone, I'm here at the Cape of Good Hope, the most southern point in Africa. And we're doing a nice walk up to a beautiful lighthouse and uh, see out of this amazing uh, piece of nature. Uh, I'm going to pass a port, as we say in Sweden, and do a bit of exercise. Okay, a little bit of rope here. So I'm going to walking across we've done a lot of trekking to get here about a 40 best part of a one hour trek so i'm just going to finish off give the legs sleep and keep my 
bar runs, split squats. Little gecko with friends and out in full force. Yeah, that's right. You run away, son. You run away. Go on, get off the path or you're going to get stepped on. Not by me, by someone with even worse eyesight than me. There we have the lighthouse from a different angle. And on our way to this other lookout point, we just found this another gorgeous, big, 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 big cliff sides here. Overlooking all the beautiful greenery here and then coming down to this beach down here. The waves are crashing against the rocks. I turn on the other side, getting close to the end of our little path, which is pretty much this little house here. at the Cape of Good Hope, the most southwestern point of the African continent. And everyone wants to take a picture here by the sign, showing their friends they have been at the very tip of Africa. <laughs> Beach spotting penguins among the little bushes and trees here. This little fella is just taking a little nap in the shade. Aww. Here we have a live one, non one that doesn't want to go and sleep. Yeah, what are you doing? Huh? What are you up to? Oh, hi. You are just the cutest when you walk, huh? Like a little man in a, a suit. Okay, we're setting off on our journey on our safari. We just stopped up with food and drink and now we're leaving Cape Town. Good old Cape Town. I'm gonna miss this place. What a beautiful city. But we're all here, we're all stopped all food, drink, and then yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Small pit stop along the journey. We're at a garage, yeah, with typical KFC and whatever uh, to eat. But if you just look slightly to your right, we just overlooked by such beautiful mountains. It's, it's just glorious scenery everywhere you look, basically. Okay, we are now leaving the Western Cape behind and we are entering the Northern Cape. We're really high up, so we stopped here for a little photo opportunity. Oh, it's just flatlands down, down there. Now this is actually this mountain behind us here that we're ascending. This range, this is the border from the Western Cape to the Eastern Cape. So 
So we're doing the northern route, which is leading us up into Botswana, then Namibia. Ah, stunning, truly, truly stunning. We have just arrived to our first campsite of this safari trip. And it has a beautiful pool and beautiful surroundings. And two crazy dogs. <laughs> Troy and Jeffrey. There's a wine tasting going on there. There's three different groups that are staying here. This is a bar area. The guy's doing a wine tasting, so I'll kind of keep it quiet so I don't interrupt him. There's a whole lodge here that one group is staying at. There's a few camp, uh, a few tents over there that another group staying at, group from Intrepid. And if you see the bus down here, we're with this company called Kikoko and just behind this building here down the hill that's where our uh, tents are. Okay we have set up camp for tonight here is the, the truck that we are going with the company is called Kiboko yeah, it's a quite basic truck but totally fine and I think it's going to be really good when we get more deep into the bush like a big four-wheel truck and uh, yeah, quite comfortable actually. And uh, here are the great guides that we have. We have set up our tents for the night. They are preparing dinner at the moment. And here they are, the free guides. Colleen promising host. We should have a nice safari chair we can sit on outside the tent. And then, yeah, once the dinner is done, we're gonna gather around this little table here. Yeah. So far, it's been a great first day. Looking animal here. Don't really know what kind of animal it is. Some sort of rodent. Mm. Oh, cute. Don't it's, worry, it's okay. Don't be yeah, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's only Kelvin. Oh. oh. I've just seen the strangest looking tree I've seen for years. It's not so big, but it's like a cross between a palm tree and a cactus. Totally unique. I've never seen anything like it before. We just...
is a massive bird's nest built on a tree. What kind of birds? Sociable weaver. Hey? Sociable weaver. Okay, we're packing up the truck, we're getting ready to leave. This was our campsite last night. Nice, we're ready to go. And we're hopefully going to see a few animals today. Yeah. Take a picture, okay. yeah? Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Branches on the floor. Yeah. So it's just weighed it down. Yeah. It just kept texting. Crazy. Basically, colonize the whole Col thing. Colin said, our guy, that uh, one of these nests can weigh up to one ton, 1,000 kilos. And various trees on the road just told it to yeah, the yeah. and the sheer weight of them. Yeah, so eventually, if they build them too heavy, the branch will uh, break and they will fall off to the ground like yeah and in one of these nests usually live about 300 birds small birds yeah, we have come across free springbok like a little antelope type animal yeah, springbok is brave Going into the gang of the wildebeest. Oh, two little baby springbok. Oh, look how adorable. Oh, so tiny. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, oh, oh. Watching this cute spring fox with its cute cub, 
and seeing it work on a bit of home renovations, we see another building that doesn't look quite so much in need of a renovation. And these are left over from the Second World War and are used by the local bushmen. A cave hold graph that we saw here. Holy burn grounds. Does anyone have some meat? <laughs> yeah, I have some in my pocket laying around. Yeah, I see it. I have it. There we go. How do I do that? Yeah, there we go, yeah. Yeah, perfect. Okay. You see it, right? Took that off the list. Yeah. Super leopard. Wow, we've already had so many great experiences traveling north in South Africa. We were a little bit disappointed though that we didn't see more of the Big Five in the National Park. But little did we know that when we now enter over into Namibia, we would see everything that we were hoping for and then some. <laughs>